Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to take out a dashboard on a Toyota Prius Generation 3. The tools that you're going to need for this are a 10mm socket and a 12mm socket. With that we need a Phillips tool which is the PD2, preferably an extension for this, a reducer adapter <clears throat> from the half inch to quarter inch. This whole job can be done within 5 minutes if you do it quickly. Because I'm making a tutorial I'll go a bit slow. First thing you want to do is take out the pillar trims. You can start off by pulling out the top corner and inside you'll see a black clip. You can just fit your index fingers from both hands in and just twist the black clip that's inside there. It needs a 90 degree twist. After that is done. You can pull out the rest of the pillar trim. Then there's another white trim on the side of that. You need to just lift that up from the back and just take it all out. Next, we're going to take out the vents on the passenger side. Just lift up the small one and pull it out. With the bottom one just open up the top glove box and put your hand on the top and the bottom and just pull that out. Next we're going to take out the small center compartment and the trim that goes around the gear stick. For that first thing you need to do is lift it up from the right side. Once that's done just lift it up from the left side and the whole trim just pops out. And add the fascia around the CD player. Just pull it out carefully, this just clips around it. For the glove box, just hold it from the bottom and pull it out. Bottom glove box doesn't need to come out, so we can just leave that there. Now we're going to use the 12mm socket for two of the bolts that hold down the airbag. This is the only time the 12mm socket gets used, so after that's done, you can put it to a side. Then you've got the electronic connectors that go inside. There's a white plug and a black one and a yellow one for the airbag. And then there's the antenna plug as well. Just disconnect all of those. Underneath the pillar trim, there was a 10mm bolt and just unscrew that. And there's going to be one on the opposite side of the dashboard on the driver's side. A good tip for this is that you pull out the steering wheel as much as you can and lower it as much as you can. This gives you more space to work, especially when taking out the dashboard. We're going to follow the same step for the driver's side pillar as we did on the passenger side. Just twist the black tab so that it releases the pillar trim. And then we're going to take out the white trim. After that's done, that will expose the 10mm bolt in the top corner. And we're going to unscrew that as well. And now for the driver's side vent, what we need to unclip the bottom trim that has the mirror control buttons on it. And you can do that by putting your fingers on the side and pulling it down. And then you can take out the vent and then there's another black trim on the left hand side of that. That just pulls out as well. Once that's done, you've basically taken off everything that you need to. And 
just unclip the side trims for the dash on the driver side and on the passenger side as well and make sure it's out of the way because we're going to start lifting the dash now for the antenna trim you need to make sure that you take out the clip for that this clip is a little bit difficult to take out Once the passenger side is completed, we're going to take out the driver side of the dashboard by lifting it up by using very minimal force. Once it's lifted up and the whole dashboard is moving, you can start pulling it out. If you take it out from one side, you'll find that it's easier. Just make sure all of the connectors and everything is out of the way. The rest of it just pulls out from this position you can do a lot of things you can take out the speedometer cluster you can also work with the power steering modules or also you can access the fuse box which is on the passenger side and with that you can also work with the air vents on pretty much all of the dashboard because it's been taken out another advantage of taking out the dashboard with this technique is that you can change the passenger airbag especially if you've bought a car or if you're working on a car that's had accidental damage and the airbag has come out this tutorial will be really helpful for you make sure to like the video leave a comment if you have any suggestions and subscribe to our channel and make sure you click the bell icon to get regular notifications of our new uploads